All right. Um, last update. I uh, getting ready to uh, put the pistons on the rods, and uh, was just measuring up all the bolts. Rope clearance is fine. Um, with the bearings installed, everything's good. The journals on the on the crank are all the same, so that's spot on. But uh, came up with a couple of interesting things. So I'm using these uh, Clavit uh, rod bearings, and uh, so this set. This is in rod number one. I don't know if we can see. Let's get it in the light here. But this set does not line up in this rod at all. Um, crap. Can you see that? Maybe there. Um, this camera is a piece of crap. So there's a real reasonable step between these two bearings. And these are located with the, the tangs, as usual. Uh, the bearing shells aren't outside of the rod, but it's really close to being outside. I, uh, it seems to be only with that set. Um, you know, this is another set. Uh, this is in number two. And these ones line up really good. This is really bad for doing close stuff, uh, but take the word for it anyway. Um, so that was the first thing I found interesting, so I'm either gonna, I'm gonna go through and make sure they all fit all the rods respectively, and if this is the only set, I'll just buy a new set uh, and then find out, but it's definitely off far enough for it to, um, be a concern. You can see it there. It's, it's really stepped out there. Uh, so I think it's just, I don't know if they mismatched it when they said the part numbers and everything the same, um, you know, upper and lower all relative. So anyway, that's the first problem I got to look into. Uh, the next one's more interesting that I uh, definitely wasn't expecting to, to come across. Um, so uh, these rod bolts, um, for example, uh, let's take the set out of, uh, these are the set out of the of rod number one. Um, so if we, I've got this thing set for measuring some other stuff, but so let's say, uh, this thing gonna focus. Um, all right, so with this, So this bolt in here, right? Okay, so right now just for uh, reference, I got it pointed, pointed to this second reference tag here. And then, so if we take this bolt out and then put in the bolt from the same rod that came in the same rod, because these, these are from SCAT. So these are ARP bolts, but they're marked with SCAT. And now it's in the same amount but check that out. It's like four thousandths of a difference in length. So I was like, okay, it's pretty weird. Um, I called Scat. Uh, I called ARP today, and I talked to the guy, and I said, hey, you know, I'm noticing um, these bolts because I, I came across this problem last night. I'm noticing these bolts are longer, and uh, the guy said that. SCAT machine, uh, ARP have a tolerance of one thousandth of an inch is that these zeros. So these are obviously way off if this this one is four thousandths longer. So I thought, okay, maybe it's an anomaly, you know. Um, so this is uh, the set out of the second rod, uh, which the bearing fits in fine and everything else. Um, so if I uh, put this in here, so it's nice and loose, or snug anyway, it fits the same amount of preload and everything. Okay, so now this one's longer 
than both of these two by almost a thousandth of an inch. So if both of these were the were four thousandths, this would be okay because this one's not much longer. But if I go to the other bolt from rod number two and I put it in here, make sure it's in good. Uh, look at that. It's four thousandths shorter than this one. So, and I, I did measure these when they first came out, and I had some discrepancies like that, but I thought it was probably just the micrometer not being able to um, center inside the head because the, uh, the end of the micrometer is actually a larger diameter than this. So, uh, and then number three. Um, rod just for the sake of it. Uh, so those are the bolts from two. So, you know, let's just take this one for reference. Okay, so this is two under the shortest one. So right now this is the shortest one I have. So if you were to say that was like that, and you know, it's it's definitely, I've no doubt this gauge is 100% correct, that's for sure. And then, so this is the other bolt from three. <laughs> and check that out. It comes up at uh, seven. So seven and two, it's nine thousandths of an inch longer. And these were in the same rods. Um, so that's, that's got to be a problem because at first I was thinking, well, you know, maybe I could switch these out and find the shorter and longer ones. You know, take the shortest ones, pair them up, the longest ones. Uh, I think I still could do that. Um, but the big thing is, is if I'm measuring these for stretch, uh, the length is going to definitely determine the stretch. So I would have to zero the gauge on doing every bolt. Um, I torque these two into this now the way that the scout says to measure this oh sorry so that was the other thing so when I did speak to ARP the guy said do they say scat on the top because they come with scat rods and I was like yeah and he said well that's a question to scat so I don't know what the deal is but it sounds something along the lines that uh, I'm not sure if ARP actually even manufacture these or not um, if he's saying it's Scout's problem, maybe just because he's palming it off, or it was helpful, but um, the fact that they say ARP Scout on them, I guess, is a question to Scout to find out if that's common. Uh, so, yeah, um, I did put these two in this one and torque it down, and so the way they say, they say 68 for this application, these bolts, and these rods. Um, it says. Uh, 60, uh, where is it? It's some 40 cat. Yeah, it was 63 foot pounds with the ARP Molly Lube. And the stretch isn't an overall stretch, it's just not to exceed five thousandths of an inch. And now, as you can imagine, if I put both these bolts in and I zero my gauge and have my setup set, then I torque it down, I'm going to see five thousandths of an inch difference already just in the lengths between these two bolts. So that means I would have to zero the bolt, zero the gauge each time on each bolt, and then torque to 63 pounds and make sure. When I did that, both of these came under, I think this, I think the first one was at like three thousandths of an inch, and the second one was, you know, one and a half, maybe two thousandths of an inch in stretch. So they stretch different, different amounts. Um, maybe that's relative to the different lengths, but at any rate, it's enough for me to question this and put a hold on it right now. So uh, I got to get another set of bearings because any other set that I take out, the, the one other set I've taken out, and put in here, fits square. So it's not the rod or anything. So uh, I got to make sure that these fit square in every other rod, and then if that's the case, I'll order one set and then call uh, Scout tomorrow and see what they say about it. But it's, uh, it's interesting anyway. Um, we'll see. All right, cheers.